Hello, in this session we will understand Ajax. Well, uh, from your syllabus, Ajax is a very small topic. However, there is a whole lot of research, whole lot of resources available in the internet for this specific technology. It is asynchronous JavaScript and XML, which is basically used to give you a cross-platform technology to speed up your response time for your website. So if your website is lagging, if your website is taking too much of load or having high response time, then with the help of this Ajax uh, technology, you can speed up that response time. Okay, your website is going to load properly and it will going to load uh, very fast, comparable uh, compared to the um, compared to the website that is not having the Ajax. Okay, so in this session, we will understand a very um, a few thing on that because it is a very uh, you know huge technology so uh, there is ajax control toolkit available in dotnet framework 3.5 and 4.5 um, and you can drag and drop that dll uh, the complete toolkit uh, i don't know it is available in the internet right now or not but you can just drag and drop here in the add tab and provide the reference here in this toolbox and you can work around there are so many tutorials actually available in the internet for that ajax control toolkit however it is not used after uh, 4.5 or 5.net framework um, so i don't know it is available still in the market or not okay so uh, here in the toolbox in the standard toolbox we still have some ajax extensions that we can use so i'm going to show you some of it uh, and that's why the session okay so here in the design part i'm going to drag this script manager to use the ajax extension your dot aspx is going to understand your browser is going to understand that yeah the website is having some ajax extension so that's why i'm i'm putting this script manager to tell my browser and tell my aspx that uh, i'm using ajax extension second thing i need to use uh, sorry, sorry second thing is i'm going to um, build some design but before building the design i am going to use this update panel and i'll in a in a few minutes i'll tell you what this update panel is going to do so i'll say here uh, enter first number and uh, for that i'm going to take one text box i'm so sorry for the design just uh, bear with me and th this is the design and uh, second is enter enter second number and again I'm going to drag and drop the text box right apart from that and let me just take a gap here and apart from that I need a button so the button I'm going to drag and drop I'll change the property let's say this is submit okay and apart from that I need three labels so I'm going to take three labels here first label and then uh, why I have this label 2 ID okay I'm already had taken it that's why label uh, 2 is coming label 3 is coming and then label four. so I have these three label label 2 label 3 and label 4 right and uh, if you see the source here then you will see that uh, I have this script manager and then I have this update panel and this update update panel is having this content template and what are the content you are having it, it has to be inside this content template okay and I'll in a bit I'll tell you what this content template is going to do for you but right now just understand that I have two text box and one button and I have three labels right and I'm going to double click on this button and uh, inside this button one click i'm going to write uh, that um, if two numbers are going to add uh, multiply and subtract what is going to be happen so text box dot text is the property right uh, by which you are taking the numbers so your text box dot text is basically string so you need to convert it so what you can do is you take integer um, c equals to uh, you will say convert to integer 32 and you will write text box one dot text then after say integer d equals to convert to integer 32 
and you will write text box two dot text right these are the two text box so whatever the text uh, text is there in the text box one and two it is going to be uh, resides in c and d uh, variable i'll say integer sum and say c plus d for addition or uh, let me just write the add here and then integer subtract here and c minus d uh, integer multiply c multiply d next thing is i'll use the label uh, two dot text let's say sum is plus add and then label three dot text equals to sub is subtraction and label four dot text equals to multiply is oh i'm so sorry this is and then say plus multiply so this is the thing and now uh, let me just uh, run this so when i run this i hope it will work so let's say my number is um, let's say four and the second number is two when i submit it you will see that six two and eight that is the sum this is subtraction and this is multiply now the understanding of this update panel what you can understand that when i hit this submit button you will not see this refresh button is going to be refreshed okay it is not going to be refreshed there it is the only content that is going to refresh okay so that is going to speed up your response time for this website so when i say when i say like let's say 6 and let's say 3 when i when you, you will see that this refresh button is not going to refresh there only the content is going to refresh so we see on this okay just just watch this button uh, submit button you will see it is not refreshed okay the content is just the uh, the content is just refreshed okay not the complete website is okay now you see the difference I'll, I'll i'll show you that difference and when i say source if i comment this script manager let me comment these content template and update panel as well and let me just completely turn it off and now if you run this let me show you the difference so first number is four and the second number is let's say two and now see the refresh button submit and it is completely refreshed the page is refreshed the complete page is refreshed there see see you can see the, the page is refreshed there okay this button is actually executing very fast but plus but please see this okay can you see this so the page is refreshed here and now if i remove this comment here you will see only content is going to be refreshed uh, I see so um, four and this is two and you can see the content is refreshed okay so this is your update panel right i hope you understand it now let's say if the uh, if your page is having too much of you know uh, if your page is having too much of content like if you are if you want to make your client to wait for some time right so what you can do you, you provide basically you provide progress bar there right so instead progress bar you uh, in the AJAX extension we are having this update progress so what you can do after pressing this button all these label one label sorry label two label three and label four can be can be put inside this update progress right not not that uh, uh, label two label three label four but you can provide this update progress just about your label so that uh, whatever the you know uh, the calculations and the the processing is there it will take some time and then after that time your label two label three and label four is going to execute right so what i mean to say is between these two things i can put my um, i can put the update progress here right and in this update progress i'll just uh, you can actually provide some image or some uh, loading.gif thing 
but I'm just writing this please uh, please wait okay instead you can also provide some image here so please wait and after that your uh, this label is going to work okay and uh, if I'm sure then I think uh, I, let me just see the source here so yeah I think it is right so you can see the update progress and progress is having progress template just like content template we have progress template and this progress template is to uh, give the specific thing like image or anything that you want to provide in that right so user is going to see that and uh, I will say. so I need the time here right so where is the time process so you can use the functionality of threading here uh, so uh, you can use here threading here so you can use system dot threading dot thread and dot sleep so you will make sleep of let's say uh, 2000 for two seconds right? and now you will see that my please wait is going to uh, uh, so your label is going to execute after two seconds okay because you are providing here update progress so it will hold that two second and then after that your calculation is going to be shown in this in, in this label so let's run it um, i hope it will work so this is four and this is two and you will see that's when i click on the submit button please wait will come for two seconds and then your calculation is going to be shown inside the label again one more time submit and please wait and then your calculation is going to be shown so let me just again run for you so let's say uh, my this is six and this is three and you will see when I click on the submit button uh, please wait will come instead you can use instead uh, the text only you can use the image or GIF uh, then it will work uh, in the similar function right so when I say submit please wait for two seconds and then your calculation is going to be shown okay I hope you understand it so this is your update progress um, uh, but now uh, let's uh, take another example of timer and for timer uh, here AJAX, AJAX extension we have one more functionality timer I can use this timer and uh, um, let me just take uh, one one add new item web form and inside this div function I'm going to take you had seen this many a times this timer you had used many a times so inside this timer uh, but before the timer I, I just remove this timer let's say just remove it and use the script manager before that before you are using timer you use this the script manager and then after script manager use update panel and inside this panel you use your timer this is okay right this looks good now go to the source and you will see that we have script manager we have update panel and up, up inside the update panel we have timer right and timer needs some something here so I'll say I need, I need a method here so on tick uh, event I'm going to generate here and on tick my event is going to be get time okay so I'm, I just want to show the time in the browser so this is the uh, function get time and I have to uh, uh, create this function in default2.aspx.cs and you can show this time in a uh, in label so I need a label also so let me just drag and drop a label where you can show your time the current time so this is my label here right so this is the label and when I go to default.aspx I now go to default.aspx.cs and just code inside the inside the uh, the method that you had created so you have to create a method here so you will say protected void get time and the same thing that is written over here and inside that you just show label two dot text and say date time dot now dot to string by the way and you will here write hours minutes second and the 12 hour time format okay and when you run this you will see after two after some time it will show you the or it is not showing you 
and uh, what is the thing that I so it was not working because uh, in the code section I haven't provided any uh, time right so I need the time also so I'll say one second so thousand milliseconds right uh, and now if you run this and you will see that after one second it will show you the time here oh, oh yeah see after one second it shows you the time at 7 42 44 pm and pm is nothing but 12 hour time format so if uh, am and pm is going to is, is going to shown in tt right inside this you can see inside the tt and hour minute seconds you already know right so this is your timer the tick functions we had used on tick and on tick we have this function get time and get time has been here in inside the aspx.cx and we had seen date time dot now whatever the time that is current currently the, whatever the time it is there it has to be saved inside the label 2.txt and when i hit run you will see after one second it show, shows you the time okay i hope you understand it the ajax and if you have any doubt you can find uh, me on the comment section um, i'll be happy to help you Thank you so much.